Hi, this is JNM with a quick Blender modeling video for absolute beginners. I will create three simple models and you can follow along. And I know this is a beginner tutorial, but I'm using shortcut keys anyway, because I think it is really important to learn these as soon as possible. Okay, so let's start. This is the first thing that we are going to create, the box. It looks very simple. And when we start Blender 2.8, you see the default cube that already looks box-like. Then we go to edit mode, where we can edit meshes. Be sure to have face selection enabled, this button here. Then click onto this top face, press the delete key and delete it. Alright, this is the basic shape, but the walls are a bit too thin. So go to object mode again. By the way, there's also a shortcut for this. You can press the tab key to toggle object and edit mode. And in object mode, I go ahead now and add a so-called modifier. Here in the modifier panel, I press add modifier and choose solidify. As the name implies, you can use this modifier to make the walls of this box more solid. First I check even thickness, so that we have the same thickness for all faces. And then I increase the thickness value. Ok, that's it. I apply the modifier, which makes the changes permanent and you get this mesh as a result. Alright, the next simple object is the vase. A bit more complicated, but still an easy task. This time we remove the default cube, because I want to start with a UV sphere. Press Shift and A, go to Mesh and select UV sphere. Ok, I want a smooth shading for this, so I right click to open the context menu and choose Shade Smooth. Then I press numpad 5 to snap the view to front autographic. And then I press this button in the toolbar to enable X-Ray. I double press the A key to remove the selection. Then I go to face selection and now you can see when I press the B key for box select that we are able to select also the faces at the backside of the mesh in X-Ray mode. I press the Del key to delete these faces here. And then I will do the same for these faces at the bottom. I press delete again and delete the faces and now we have the base shape for the vase. I select all by pressing the A key and then S followed by Z to scale this mesh along the Z axis. Now this already has a shape of a vase. I go to edge selection and select this edge. Then I press E to extrude, but directly press the Enter key to apply. Then I press S followed by 0 to create the bottom of the vase. This action leads to duplicated vertices at the center, so we select all, press F3 to open the search panel and search for Merge by Distance. After that, 31 vertices that share the same position are removed. Ok, again the walls are very thin, but we know what to do, we have to add a solidify modifier just like we did for the box to increase the thickness. And again I want an even thickness, so I enable this checkbox and then I increase the thickness using the slider. Ok, looks good already, but the shading isn't that nice. So let me first apply the modifier, so that we can see and edit the mesh. First I select a few edge loops by double clicking them and hold the shift key down so that you can select multiple edge loops at a time. And these are the four edge loops that I want to have a bit more crisp and sharp. So with these selected I press Ctrl and B to add a bevel, move the mouse slightly to change the size of the bevel and when you scroll the mouse wheel up and down you can adjust the number of segments the bevel will have. After adding this bevel, I go back to object mode and now you can see that the shading is very clean and smooth. I press G followed by Z to move the vase a bit upwards and we are done. Ok, and this is the last one, a simple room. So let's start by adding a plane object. Press Shift and A and select plane. I tap to edit mode and then I press the S key and type in 4 to increase the size 4 times. Then I press 7 on the numpad to switch to top auto graphic and then press Shift and R 
to add edge loops and slightly move the mouse wheel to add one more segment. Then left click two times to apply the number of segments and the position and then we have to move these edges to the outside and here you can press the S key followed by X to move these edges to the right and to the left and hold the control key pressed while you are doing this to snap the edges to the grid. That's a bit tricky but we can train this again now for the Y axis again control and the R key move the mouse wheel slightly to add one more segment left click two times then S followed by Y this time and move the edges with the control key pressed to the top and the bottom. Okay, this is the kind of fundament or the base and the face in the middle we don't need, we select it and press the Del key to delete it. And now we need two edge loops again to create the door, the entrance. I press the 7 key on the numpad to switch to top auto graphic, then Ctrl and R to add an edge loop and another one here on the right side. Great, now I'll go to face selection, select this face and remove it. Then press A to select all the faces and then the E key to extrude the walls. At around this position I press the left mouse button and then again the E key to extrude another part and then we can select these faces, press F3 to search for bridge edge loops and then they are connected. And the simple room is finished. Alright guys, this was a bit another kind of tutorial, please let me know if you like it. And if you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and support me, if you can, by being my patron. Thanks a lot for watching and I see you soon here on JNM.